Good backup comms unit is essential for any short-term or long-term readiness plan. Hello to all you Wastelanders out there and welcome to Nuka Vault Readiness. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Radtail RT470X multiband handheld unit. Um, it is not from two-way radio. I actually got this one off of Amazon. You can also buy it directly off their website, uh, radtail.com. reason for this purchase is that I'm just kind of an HT nut. I like carrying a bunch of HTs on me and trying them out. Uh, so, of course, it just piqued my interest in wanting a new toy to buy. But also, due to this one's multi-band uh, capabilities, uh, if it does live up to its uh, resume specifications, and it's not uh, line on its resume per se, uh, it looks quite impressive. Uh, it's a dual band radio. It says it, it will transmit and receive on the 2 meter and 440. Uh, but it also states, according to their website, that that will uh, transmit and receive on the 1.25 meter, which is interesting. Uh, it also gets AM uh, radio, the NOAA weather alerts, and it also states that it supports uh, air bands, which I assume is civilian air band, civilian pilot air bands. I'm, I'm not sure. I've been one of those that's been on the shelf and on my tool shelf for a while and just now got around to it after a couple months. A basic looking uh, instruction manual. with its rubber duck, which I guess it does not come out. Oh, it does come out the top. All right. Uh, looks like to be a, it's an SMA female adapter there. What does it say there? It says FM 136. 136 through 174. 400 through 470 megahertz. That good weight to it. Yeah, it's got a good weight to the battery. It actually feels quite heavy. Um, it's a uh, 7.4 volt, uh, 2600 milliamp, 19.24 watt hours. And there's the charging brick. They packed this in pretty tight, so. No qualms about packaging. A sip of that. Glued on there. Go ahead and just pop this in and aha. Welcome. Channel yeah. mode. Okay, apparently it was already on and you heard that. I'll finish the unboxing here real quick before we turn it back on. There's the uh, charging cord for the brick. And you get, of course, the stylish belt clip. All the ladies love a belt clip. But no stylish wristband. All right. So that's the unboxing. Ten on here. You know, this is a flashy orange outline here on the PTT, which is kind of cool. There is your um, speaker microphone. Um, I forget the name of that connection, but that also looks like the typical um, Balfang connections you would need, like for your um, for your cord that you'd use for chirp and other and uh, other things like that. But that seems to be pretty universal um, with these. Um, or made radios. If I do remember correctly, it's actually from the same manufacturer, or at least in the same area as a Balfang. So um, definitely a lot bulkier. It actually feels really good. Like it's made out of decently hard plastic. Um, got this little light, typical of the newer uh, radios you get. Buttons are nice and firm, even though they're a bit small especially for my thumbs, but... Full mode. 
not the same female voice you usually get on a uh, a Baofeng or other radios like that. So uh, this one looks like it's programmed in. That's a number right there. Eleven. Yeah. Ten. Nine. And then there's the uh, uh, not memory, but the variable frequency mode. It looks like it's on B. There we go. Switching between two mains. So we're up near 468 megahertz and 398 megahertz, which I assume I'm not going to hear anything. Plus, I'm here in the shack, so i uh, probably not going to hear much anyway. Well, I can't wait to take this out on the field and um, play around on the different ones. I'm definitely interested if this really does work on 1.25 meters. I've never had a tri band HT, so we'll see how that works. But anyway, guys, there it is the uh, boxing of the Rad Tail. I'll uh, when the weather gets a little bit better, I'll be out, take it out of the field, and go try it out. And any other questions you all like to know, uh, drop them down in the comments. Also, love to hear any comments or concerns. Um, and until next time, always be getting ready. Take care, guys.